get out here. Oh, that was lucky. I thought it was going to have to go right then. Yeah, so we're out today on the, on the Africa Twin. Adam, I haven't rode this bike for a bit of time because work commitments are all changed and a bit different. jacket is huge. I bought this second hand but for the to get through a winter a couple of, a couple of years ago now. Yeah it was two years ago. You know to buy them brand new you know again stupid amount of money absolutely crazy like fifteen hundred pounds for the jacket. You know, bloody hell, we can uh, it gets expensive. So for the jacket, I paid I paid two hundred pounds for the jacket, and then I paid uh, pretty much I think the same or near as the same for the the rucker trousers as well. So yeah, so it's rucker jacket and, and bottoms, and the, you know as long as you're spraying them and, and look after them, yeah, they um, they do keep you warm and do keep you dry. Not like all the rest of the stuff. Every every bit of waterproof kit, you know, 100% waterproof bullshit. Spent so much money chasing stuff, which is, you know, expensive, but just within the budget. Didn't, didn't, didn't work to any of its claims, any. Even if you sprayed them, you know, with mick wax religiously, it still didn't work. Rob. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really pleased with the rubber stuff. The thing is, I didn't pay full price. You know, someone else had had some good use out of it. They looked after it. As soon as I got it, give it a good mid wax cleaning. Yeah, it's been alright. But I've not got the liner in this. I know it's only like 10 degrees, 11, whatever it is. Yeah, lovely for it. Comfortable. I'm starting to wish I didn't wear any Levi's. <laughs> And I've actually put the bottoms on. It's even better. I mean, the only thing is, yeah, it's some bulky stuff, you know. Mm. 
Yeah, so I've been enjoying doing some of the editing for for YouTube. You know, something new that I've been learning. You know, as well as learning to ride green lanes. Yeah, I'd like to do some more. You know, watch some of the guys on YouTube. You know, Midwest MX, Enduro, or the Biker Bros. You know, and. Yeah. They seem to have so much better places to be able to go and ride, you know, some real, some real good forest ones, which look, you know, test your skills a little bit. Where I've got no skills. I was crashed in a straight line the other day. In fact, <laughs> I did, I had a stop. And even when I tried to start off again, I always come off again. I want to get, I want to get better at it. It's, it's, you know, it's been really good. It's like a new lease, a new chapter to like um, my biking. You know, passionate about biking, I've been for years and years. Yeah, and this is uh, just opened it up even more having that enduro bike. So much fun. You know, learning new stuff. Let me through. Yes, thank you. Go on, Laurie, let us out. If you block it, we're out. I don't know what we're after this. A lot happening in there. Well, so we're on the outskirts of Cheddar. I don't know if they class this as Cheddar, I don't know. Go on with Bobby. Yes. He can't, don't make it right, is it? Ah, no drama, so plenty of room.
this shower, that's some straight on anyway. Squirrels. Poor road positioning by me then, wasn't it? Not as bad as him. Texting on his phone. Be that everyone moaned that everyone was on the phone, wasn't it? In, the, in their cage. On the phone, mate, get off your phone. Now, I, I've got to be honest, I don't mind that. It's the texting which worries the hell out of me. The amount of cars which just use the uh, centre cat eyes just to gauge where they are on the road while they're looking at their phone. Te texting whoever it, it is they need to be in touch with in that movement all the time, don't they? Constantly. You'd be contactable all the time. Yeah, so this, this uh, cure, it's been uh, all over social media. Someone sent me a couple of the articles from the local newspaper saying, you know, this cure has been here the whole time. No one realised. Yeah. Even though locally we know that it's good for you. You know, in the article said it's full of vitamins A, B, C, D, E, any other letter of the alphabet that you want to throw at it. Yeah, Mudgley, this is it. Mudgley. I don't know if you can see that. You can just see how waterlogged all of that area is. It must be you know, an absolute nightmare for the farmers here at the moment. Okay, let me through. Nice one. Thank you. That's good of them. So you can see uh, Glastonbury Tour there, just in the distance, if I slow down a little bit, over there, that's <laughs> behind the trees. Uh, there it is there. Uh, slip slide in the way. Thank you. Everyone else has obviously seen it. Uh... Yeah, look, it's busy today, though. This miracle cure. No one's picking it up. Let's, um, let's dive in the barn thing. There you are, that dude. I'm 
unbelievable, man. It's like aesthetic. And we've got our, um, our COVID cure. Very busy, look, everyone's, uh, everyone knows how good this stuff is. Kills all known germs, dead. Cheese in, I better check that before I leave. Oh, look at this. Right. <laughs> no. Right. Bit a bit premature. Worrying about the baby on the back. There you go. Right. It's a little bit tight there. I'll tell you what, <laughs> you can feel the difference in weight now. Okay, we're all in the bay bears. <laughs> Some weight! Wow! It's like Land's End Farm, some of that. Best place in the world, eh? You meet so many different people in there. And they all love the apples. <laughs> Just pop on, you know it's there. 
best place in the world. drift up right in that corner normally gets slippery as hell and then what they do is they come up here spin back round and go back down 